Okay, hello, welcome back to my channel and Okay, it's been an hour I've been doing the same fucking thing Go in front of the kit tenant and then Ran up and then I, I do not know what to do For fucking hours I just walk around and bang And speaking to Edna and all oh, shit, I, I did all oh, shit And I had to, I had to, sorry But I had to watch the walkthrough because I don't know hey. what to do. Hey! So I have to do this. Yep. You're only making it worse for yourself. Right the longer you stay up there, the long. Okay. This one. Yeah, we need this one. Longer I'm gonna take a. What do you think you're doing up there, you scrawny little runt? Get down here right now! Okay, and then we use Aini. Hey, Aini! Look out, boss. It's, it's that crazy mud again. I can't believe you lost him again! Yeah, for five, fifth fucking time. God damn it. So now we just gotta head back to the place. Uh, what's his name was? Arthur, Arthur. Right, just over here, I think. Hello, Aini. Yep, this time. What now? Stupid uh, kid distortion where's in that kid? audio record and still dumbass. Hey, <laughs> uh, Arthur. Hmm, maybe I should have led with the subpoena. Okay, then. Okay, gotta, gotta try again. Gotta start with the subpoena. What now? Okay, gotta give him the. Audio again. You know, being fooled twice is the f this fucking idiot. Arthur. What do you think you're doing up there, you scrawny little runt? Get down here right now! It's kid! Right away, boss! <laughs> you fucking, fucking idiot. Ah, uh, where's kid? Arthur McFly? Yeah? Got something for you. Thanks. A subpoena? Ordering you to appear in court and provide evidence in the investigation into- Kid Tannen? Take it back! You can't get rid of it, Mr. McFly. Once you've been served, it's your duty to report to the court at the earliest possible time. Failure to do so could lead to a warrant for your arrest. Arrest? But Kid will kill me. Stupid, stupid Arnie. Holy cats, what am I gonna do? I suggest you avail yourself to the protection of the court. Oh gosh, oh gosh. Should give him the cap or the hat. Why can I give him the hat? Oh, okay, give I him, hate give doing stuff like that. But I won't have to much longer. No? Once we get that 190 proof alcohol and build my rocket drill, my future will be set and I'll be able to quit this crummy job. Oh, right.
So I should speak to the uh, to the present duck. What to do? Psst, duck. Lordy, how close the escape plan? Your younger self needs 190 proof booze to fuel his rocket drill. Well, that could be a problem. I know, we're both underage. Underage, nothing. It's 1931 and alcohol's been outlawed throughout the country. Are you sure you're about to graduate from high school? I'm kidding, Doc. It was a joke. A joke? If I live to be a hundred, and I almost have, I'll never understand the teenage compunction to make a joke out of everything. Oh, yeah. I know this really isn't the right time or place, but I found your notebook. Oh, so that's where I left it. Why'd you bring it here? Because the bank's selling off all your stuff. They can't do that. That's what I keep trying to tell them. Well, you hold on to it for safekeeping. We'll deal with my financial situation in 1986, after we saved me from a grisly death in 1931. Good. Hang in there, Doc. Gotta speak to a fast doc now. This might be a stupid question, but couldn't you have designed your rocket-powered drill to run on Water. fuel that, you know, isn't illegal? Illegal? What does law have to do with science? Science has its own laws. You of all people should know that. Get in. How about Kid Tannen? What do we know about him? He's loud, he's obnoxious, he's not very bright, and he doesn't like anybody getting in his way. Yep, that's a Tannen, all right. Okay. We'll score that hooch somehow. I'll keep cogitating. What the fuck is cogitating? Okay, I'm okay. um, just gonna try and ask that. No. Hey, uh, Miss Strickland. Oh, hello, Mr. Corleone. Try not to draw any undue attention my way. I'm on the trail of a hot new scoop, as we in the newspaper business say. You asked me to tell you if one of the local charities is running low on soup. Does somebody need a visit for my soup cycle? The rest home. Those dear old timers. Soup is one of the few pleasures they have left. Something with the car. Seems suspicious though. No? Okay, no, not. Just gotta go to, into the soup kitchen and see what what's happening inside there. Cue ball. What? The truck just arrived with a fresh shipment of, uh, soup. Soup? Soup? Well, uh, this is the regular soup, and this is the special soup. Right. Special. Hey, what are you doing? I'm spicing up the soup. It's my secret recipe. Listen, this ain't the Savoy, and we ain't here to feed these bozos no fancy soup. The boss has got a business to rebuild, so knock off the goofing and mind your post. All right, all right, just try the soup. Well? Ah, I can see why you want to keep this a secret. It tastes like tight water. Cue ball. Uh, excuse me. Yeah. Can I have a bowl of soup? You're a soup kitchen. What do you think?
Tastes like shit. Uh, what kind of soup is this? It, it tastes like... Scrolle Ribolita? I was gonna say weak old cabbage. Everyone's a critic. Look, all I got to work with is this two-bit soup in a barrel and spice rack that hadn't been restocked since the Coolidge administration. What do you think I should do to perk this slop up? Let's see. Have you tried... Paprika? 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 Uh, I, I just think it could use a little uh, color. Color? Hmm. Huddle up, Emmett. Huddle? Just listen up for a second. Emmett, I can't get into the door over there. Those tables are jamming it shut. The door? So your plan is to just waltz in there and take a barrel of alcohol? Uh, no. Uh, of course not. That would be stupid, right? I'll say. Still, I'd like to get that door open. I can't do anything from out here. Well, it's a simple matter of physics. A lever, some sort of stop. Let me see what I can come up with. There's no way I'm going to keep that door open without some help. What are those tables for? We keep a few. Ah, I'm not talking about a table, I'm talking to you, cue ball. <clears throat> okay. Hey, um, uh, never mind. Oh, he's done. Excuse me. You talking to me? Why is the soup in a barrel? Because it's hard to ladle off the floor. Fucking dick. Okay. What's a Let's tough guy it. like Kid Tannen doing running a soup kitchen? Mr. Tannen purchased the soup kitchen from the Sisters of Mercy in an effort to repair his reputation as a respectable community figure after his fine name was besmirched by the malignant and malicious malicious the actions of the misguided vandals that 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 done burned down his place of business. It's speakeasy. I cannot confirm nor deny any claims of so-called illegal bootlegging at the... the... Just eat your damn soup, pipsqueak. So this place used to be a soup kitchen. What do you mean used to be? <clears throat> Despite recent changes in ownership, this joint is still available for the purposes of distributing food to the needy and the not-so-well-to-do. And no other purposes whatsoever. Right. Okay, I've got some more ideas about your soup. Do tell. Let's see. Have you tried... Giving the soup a little heat, maybe? Why, is it getting cold? No, I, I mean, like chili powder. Muy caliente. Oh, bit of a tough guy, huh? Actually, I like it spicy too, but it's gotta be edible for the common folks. <laughs> Come on, a little dash isn't gonna kill anyone. Ah, oh, heck. You got moxie, kid. Let's spice it up a bit, shall we? Is it gonna take the, the same bottle? Nah. Lazy ass animation, goddammit. Eureka! Okay, Emmett got the... Emmett. We got yes. the idea. Oh, that's interesting. Just a little mechanical ingenuity. In the end, the door is open. Yeah, good job. We'll score that hooch somehow. 
I'll keep cogitating. Pretty neat, Doc. <laughs> nope. I'm, I'm still not getting through here. But at least those tables are propped up now. What am I gonna do? What am I gonna do? All cabbage soup? Last time I checked. Would you have any other kinds of soup? No. Nice rack. Yeah, we got all kinds of uh, culinary enhancements back there. It's kind of blocked off there, isn't it? Yeah, but well, what can you do? I hope Doc Jr.'s thingamabob holds out. What about those barrels? What about them? What kind of soup is that? It's not so... Uh, uh, it's special soup. What's special about it? It's, uh... It's made for grown-ups, kid. A <laughs> soup for grown-ups? That's right, kid. Be nosy. See where it gets you. How am I going to settle this? The face of the I still think the soup needs more flavor. You didn't pour anything in the soup. You didn't pour anything from there to here. So you'll be eating the same, same shit. Same fucking shit every time. for management only, Rummy. Whoa! The same thing, okay, um... Uh, Switch for Etna. Where can I put Etna Strickland? She there? Yeah, she's there. Hey, uh, Miss Strickland. Oh, hello. Oh, hello, Mr. C Try not to draw in the say. You asked me to tell you if one of the... Does somebody need a visit for my soup cycle? The orphanage. My, how those little ragamuffins can eat. I hope Doc Jr.'s thingamabob holds out. How can I... Brown result? Why you call it brown result? What do you need, Doc? Nope. I'm still not getting through here. But at least those tables are propped up now. Yes.
No. Looks like these pipes go into the basement. Not sure what that'll do. I still think the soup needs more flavor. Looks like these pipes go into the basement. The fuck is wrong with the pipe? Emmett. Yes? Alright, I think I figured out which barrels have the hooch. Then what are you waiting for? He's not just gonna give me a barrel. Of course. Well, you seem to have a way with people, so I'll leave it up to you to trick that lummox into giving up his moonshine. Moonshine. It's been a long time since we'll score that hooch somehow. I'll keep cogitating. Huh? So what am I supposed to do with that information? Okay, so now, now I know what to do. I still think the soup needs more flavor. Miss Strickland, come for some more soup? Come now, Mr. Donnelly. You know I wouldn't set one foot in this mockery of all that is good and decent if the poor of Hill Valley weren't so dependent on Mr. Tannen's overblown show of generosity. Was that a yes? Just give me the soup before I gag on the hypocrisy. I get to I'll tell the boss you said hello. I'll just bet you will. And they picked up the barrel of hooch. Now all I have to do is to get it from her somehow. I hope Doc Jr.'s thingamabob holds out. What about those barrels? Can I take one of those? Look, kid. Bowls. You get a bowl of soup and a cut of bread. The only person who gets barrels is the Strickland Dame. 
Edna? That's right. She delivers the barrels to people and places what can't come into the soup kitchen. Organizations for the elderly and uh, the infirm. <laughs> you know, hospitals, orphanages, and whatnot. Nice rack. Yeah, we got all... It's kind of... Yeah, but what can you do? Oh, I'm gonna try this one again. Ahem. <clears throat> what is it, kid? Mind if I look around a bit? No. Emmett. Yes? Obviously this kitchen isn't a speakeasy. Indeed. This must be some sort of front meant to cleverly and legally obfuscate the existence of a hidden establishment of ill repute. Perhaps in the basement. Right. That might explain the elevator. We'll score that hooch somehow. I'll keep cogitating. Pretty neat, Doc. Nope. I'm still not getting through here. But at least those tables are propped up now. We're gonna go to Edna. Hey, uh, Miss Strickland. Oh, hello, Mr. Corleone. I'm afraid I haven't much time. The meeting of the Stay Sober Society is due to begin very soon. You asked me to tell you if one of the local charities is running low on soup. Does somebody need a visit for my soup cycle? The rest home. No, it's way past their bedtime. You asked me to tell you if one of the local charities is running low on soup. Does somebody need a visit for my soup cycle? The orphanage. No, they've already got all the soup they can handle. Fuck. You asked me to tell you if one of the local charities is running low on soup. Does somebody need a visit for my soup cycle? The farm for unwanted children. No, they've already received their quota for the month. You asked me to tell... Does somebody need... The ins No, too much. <sighs> Did you finish the story you interviewed me for? Uh, about Carl Sagan? Yes, but those pig headed editors at the pit. I was glorifying a suspected oh, arsonist. As if their stories aren't always glorifying the criminal vermin that run this town. This whole thing makes me so mad I could spit. Though, of course, I never would. There's an ordinance against it, and it's so untidy. What's the Stay Sober Society? You haven't heard of the SSS? They do the most marvelous work, taking hopeless drunken bums and turning them into former hopeless drunken bums. I'm one of the founding members. And not to say that I was ever, well, you know. Anyway, we've always met in the cellar of the Sisters of Mercy soup kitchen, but for some reason the new managers don't want us down there, so we're stuck. We've got nowhere to meet. Ah. Uh. I know a place where the Stay Sober Society can meet. Oh? Where? You could meet in the speakeasy, the one that got bombed last Wednesday. Now wouldn't that be poetic irony? But I'm not sure the building is structurally safe. I know a place where the Stay Sober Society can meet. Oh? Where? You can meet in the park. No, that's no good. Too many of the members sleep in the park. I know a place where the Stay Sober Oh? The Brown residence. You mean Judge Brown's place? Yeah, I happen to be good friends with his son Emmett, 
and he's told me the judge would love to lend his place up for, you know, good causes like yours. Really? Why, that's the most generous, public-spirited offer I've received in a month of Sundays. Please, tell your friend Emmett we accept. And the offer couldn't have come at a better moment. It's almost time for the meeting to begin. You asked me to... Does somebody need... The Stay Sober Society. That's right. They'll soon be gathering at the Brown Estate, and we haven't provided refreshments. I can't get over the generosity of your friend Emmett, volunteering his father's house for our meeting. Huh? Oh, wait there! Michael! What in the name of Thomas Alva Edison do you think you're doing? Don't you get it? You need alcohol to run your drill, right? Those bootleggers at the soup kitchen won't let us get our hands on any of their hooch. But we can get Miss Strickland to pick it up for us and deliver it right to your door. No! Out of the question! Why? I can't just let strangers invade my parents' house! What do we know about these people? They're sober. It says so right in the name. Well, okay, but... A pop needs his peace and quiet at the end of the day. This meeting is sure to be too noisy for him. They'll be quiet. You'll be quiet, right? Oh, yes! I play my tambourine very softly. You hear that? Yes, but... But what? But it's still impossible! But think of the Stay Sober Society. What'll happen to them? They can all fall off the wagon for all I care. But I promised Miss Strickland. It means so much to her. The answer is still no! Okay, forget the whole thing. We don't have to test your rocket power drill tonight. We don't? No. I'll take the train back to Washington and I'll tell the folks at the office to give the patent to Dr. McCoy. Wait! <sighs> you will instruct the members of the society to wipe their feet before they come inside. Then you are, Emmett Brown. I thought as much. You have such a righteous face. Edna Strickland, I don't know how to thank you for your generosity. Oh, um, uh, pleased to meet you. The feeling is mutual. I've got a bad feeling about this. Oh, you worry too much, Emmett. Well, we've served the subpoena and gotten a barrel of booze delivered to your house. Looks like we're off to your lab to build your rocket drill. Ah, uh, you do have a lab, right? What kind of future patent holder would I be without a lab? Come on! Doc! I'm off to get the rocket drill. Good! <gasps> Come on, let's go! Time waits for no man! Are you sure this is gonna work? Emmett? Don't let the ramshackle nature of my laboratory fool you. If all goes according to plan, we'll soon be in possession of the most powerful rocket fuel known to man! That's great! Uh, how? Oh, it's very simple. This crankshaft induces a powerful direct current into the electrolysis chamber, producing hydrogen which must be periodically released into the primary distillation barrel! While tending to the hydrogen, we'll also need to regularly sprinkle these shredded protein flakes into this aquarium of tuber bacteria to generate the necessary nitrogen to catalyze the reaction! The fuck? Cool. Oh, hot! Extremely hot! The temperature of the reaction must be kept at a steady temperature of 623 degrees Kelvin by carefully pumping these bellows! Any questions? Uh... Emmett? Why is there a brace of drunkards gathering on our lawn? Sweet fancy Moses, it's my father! So? So, he doesn't know I'm engaging in acts of scientific exploration in here. He thinks this is where I go to pour through my law books. Oh. You tend to the reaction, I'll try to get rid of him! Tend to the- what? Can't we just start over after he's gone? It's too late! The reaction's already started! Don't worry, I'll try to help you out where I can. But- Start coming, father! Father! Don't you father me, child! 
Titan. Titan. Don't you have a release valve on your mouth somewhere? Release valve. You don't know what you call it. Release valve. Release valve. Someday you are going to come. Can't you see this is eating me up inside? Eating. You don't know what you call it. You're pressuring me to be something I'm not! Listen to the words I'm emphasizing. Don't you turn your back on me! I don't know what the fuck. Okay, okay, pressure, pressure, what the fuck is pressure? You have no idea what kind of pressure I'm under! You don't know release, release. Okay, nice. There is a flame inside me that cannot be quelled by your legalistic gobbledygook, father. Okay, that's it. You don't know what This isn't food for thought, Pop. It's gruel. Someday you are going to Excellent. Now twist the valve there. Great. We're about a quarter of the way home. Damn it! Get back here! Oops. <laughs> You're going to find Why don't you go feed the ducks, father? <laughs> I hope someday you will have children and you will stop being such a crank! <laughs> oh, crank, crank. Granddad is not crying, he's setting up the valve. Shit. I'm sorry, sorry. What did you do? Emmett, who are you talking to in there? Sorry, sorry, sorry. No one, father. God damn it. Shit, I'm better. <laughs> You're going to find By Galileo's rotations. Do you ever listen to yourself? Someday you have children and you will not What do you call room full of lawyers trapped in a burning building? A good start. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> Why won't you release me from your unattainable expectations? Maybe I should just get struck by lightning. Would that make you happy? You don't get to control my life just because you fed and clothed me for 17 years. Ah, halfway there. Keep up the good work. This may come as a shock to you, Pop, but not everyone wants to be a lawyer. Pressure! You don't know anything about pressure! Sunday! I don't know what's eating you, Father, but I wish you would go on a diet. Why do you keep bellowing like that? Law may be your burning passion, Father, but it is not mine. Your mother and I are shocked at your behavior, young man. Why must you always scatter condescension my way? Von Brons have been officers of the court since God's heavenly spark first gave rise to men, Emmett. Don't you have a release valve on your mouth somewhere? What are they feeding you in that school of yours? You look like a skeleton. Law? What use is a microorganism for law? <laughs> Almost there. Emmet! Uh, coming, father! Uh, Why should I honor your wishes? You treat me like common bacteria! <laughs> I strongly object to the current of this conversation, father. Stop getting so hot under the collar, Pop. Wait, is it my fault if I don't get a spark out of laws and statutes? Well, if it weren't for scientists, men like you would still be divining the future with sheep's bladders and goat gizzards. Why don't you go feed the ducks, Father? Okay, okay this one. Just pay attention to what I say. I'm not through with you yet! I... What the fuck is bladder? Why should I honor your wishes? You treat me like common bacteria! You don't like my performance at the courthouse, then fire me! 
I do really want to vent our dirty laundry in public like this. Wait, that shiva, I do. You know who invented fire pop? I don't know either, but you can be damn sure it wasn't a lawyer <laughs> pressuring me to be something I'm not. <laughs> I'm not just another one of your staffers who spins around you like a top. The hotter you get, the more I know I'm right. Stop being such a crank! This isn't food for thought, Pop. It's gruel. If you don't like my performance at the courthouse, then fire me. You have no idea what kind of pressure I'm under. Oh, I'm afraid we'll have to take this up later, Pop. My soup's about to boil over. What? This isn't over, young man. Whew. Oof. Are you okay? You and your dad sounded... It was an argument we should have had a long time ago. We... No! Oh! Oh, what? Eureka! Now all we gotta do is fuel up the old rocket power drill and you and, and I can- I can take it and go. Don't you wanna test it first? No time. The, uh, the, the last train for DC leaves in just a few minutes. All right. You've gotta get this baby to the US Patent Office. Uh, exactly. So tell me, Michael, when can I expect to hear back from the Patent Office? Uh... A week. Oh, in about, I'd say... I, I can't. Huh? Emmett, I I'm not from the patent office. I don't understand. I, I, I lied to you, but I, I didn't want to. It was just, it was the only way I can get you to trust me. See, there's somebody who's in big trouble. Someone very important to me, to, to both of us. I can't tell you who, but I need to save him tonight, and, and I need your invention to do it. I'll get it back to you, I, I promise. And, Emmett, you're gonna be a great inventor. Wait! Keep the throttle at about eight. Okay, Doc, I got the drill. Now let's get you out of here. Start! for safekeeping. Oh, I better go get a quote from the police chief. Paddy wagon intercepted. Suspect slain. Then they're still after him. How am I going to rescue him now? Hmm. At least the rocket part came out of this one piece. DeLorean, back of DeLorean. All right, I'm coming, Doc. Sorry, gotta borrow this shit. Yeah, 
the fuel in that shit. No, 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 that is one case. They left! Oh no! What's he doing here? The window shut tight. Keys are on the dashboard, but I can't reach them. You need a protection of pertinence. What? A reach extender. Can't break the lock. There's a key, but it's probably a button. I know. Told you. Kid Tannen's driving the truck. Kid Tannen? That explains a lot. I'll be back. No way, right here. Yeah, I can't go anywhere, so just wait right there. That thing's still going? <sighs> This is a long fucking road to back. But that would do any good. Keys. How do I get them? I don't think throwing the hubcap at that would do any good. I don't think throwing the hub. Yeah, but that would do any good. Man, Marty's athletic. Look at that. Okay, we gotta touch the dock. Good. Back. Front window, there's nothing that can be clicked. I don't think throwing the hubcap at that would do any good. Fudge. 
come on now. What am I supposed to do? That brown face so oblivious. What's happening? Nothing to be present, okay, 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 let's just, just go back first and then let's see fuck. They won't budge. They won't budge. Oh, something over there. God damn it. I need a distraction. Leave it to me. Hey, driver! You're driving too fast. Watch how you take those curves. No, 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 no. Kill me. Not quick enough. Can you distract him again? They call you the street. How did you know that? I have my sources. And kid then and this is just like Oh, there's a kid! Okay then, that's all. Stand back, Doc!
<laughs> Doc, are you okay? I'm fine. But I wonder what sorts of bizarre repercussions my younger self's invention of a flying bicycle will have on the timeline. Did you know that would happen? I had a suspicion. I never could keep those rockets from exploding. So, what do we do now? Now we get back to 1986 before our interactions with the past inevitably cascade into a calamitous future. Where'd you leave Einstein? Uh, Doc? He's not in the pound, is he? No, uh, but I think we've got bigger problems right now. Great Scott! Well, folks, that is the end so for for What's Back happening? to the Future episode I don't know. one. We'll have to be careful not to run into ourselves. Hey, fellas. All right, McFly. Let's go see the boss. History says Tanner will be arrested by a rookie cop by the name of Danny Parker. I fear that nothing will save Hill Valley from descending into the fires of chaos and corruption. Nothing is over until Kid Tannen says it's over! Fuck you, Tannen. Okay, that's it for today's video, and I will see you in the next video. Peace out.